five little monsters were under my bed. One ran off and slammed the door. Mama called me and my mama said, Be a good boy and stay in bed. Four little monsters were under my bed. One ran off and slammed the door. Mama called me and Mama said, Be a good boy and stay in bed. Three little monsters were under my bed. One ran off and slammed the door. Mama called me and my Mama said, be a good boy and stay in your bed. Two little monsters were under my bed. One ran off and slammed the door. Mama called me and my mama said, Be a good boy and stay in your bed. One little monster was under my bed. One ran off and slammed the door. My mama called me and my mama said, Be a good boy and stay in your bed. No little monsters were under my bed. I don't know who slammed the door. Hey everyone, how is it going? We are live with another Monster Monday design. So just uh, wanted to come up with something creative for Monster Monday. And my general design concept was green and blue stripes. Um, big sharp teeth here. He has a few spots and other things. Didn't do the spots on the design, but it's that dark color with the green and blue. And I think in the dark, this design would be... Uh, camouflage fairly well. There's a few lighter spots that might catch your eye, but he's sort of camouflaged into the surroundings, the bushes, wherever this monster is hiding. Maybe even he's under the bed. So Monster Monday has been a recurring theme this entire year. And the one thing I like about monster designs is they allow for maximum creativity. There isn't a one-size-fits-all. Everyone knows what a monster looks like. like. A design either looks like a dog or it doesn't. It looks like a tiger or it doesn't. But a monster can have features of a dog or a lion or a bear or a snake or just about any other creature, imaginary or real. Monsters can be any color. They can have fur like a, a mammal. They can be covered with scales. They could have spikes and horns. They could be bone. They could be more like a dinosaur or a reptile. Yeah, they could be feather covered like a bird. So, yep, yeah, monsters just give me a lot of room for creativity. I can make them look however I want. There is no right or wrong answer when it comes to monsters. Although, when it comes to like a movie monster, there are only so many ways, at least historically, for them to create the monster design. Either it was going to be a human inside a costume, or it was going to be somehow animated or a puppet or like claymation or something using stop motion. I was uh, reading up on uh, some character development and uh, one of the sites I was looking at was talking about trying to animate a mammal-like creature with six legs and they were like, well, we think it's big and heavy and would move sort of like an elephant, but an elephant only has four legs. So how would the anatomy work? What are those extra two legs connected to? There are insects with six legs, but they have an exoskeleton, not um, a normal bony skeleton on the inside. So there's a... Uh, 
Like if I was if I was doing an old 50s or 60s style monster movie and I was doing uh, had puppets or something and I was doing stop motion, I could do a six-legged monster. I could do a Godzilla. I could do uh, an octopus creature, things like that. But a lot of the early movies. Their monsters were limited by their, there's going to be a human inside the costume, so it's going to be roughly five to six feet tall. It's going to have two legs, two arms, one head. Yeah, you could uh, make a monster with two heads, um, but you're sort of limited. Your arms can only be where a human arm can go. I was watching the Disney Plus on uh, making of the Star Wars and. Jabba the Hutt was a unique monster for them. He was part puppet, part, um, so there were humans uh, controlling different features of it, so he could have uh, mouth and face movements, and he could have body parts that move, but it, that was a, a unique monster because it wasn't just one person on the inside controlling it, it was a series of people controlling the inside of the monster, the creature, Jabba the Hutt. Uh, so yeah, when it, nowadays if I want to have a movie monster, I could do it all 3D rendering, uh, animate it into the scene, use green screen, or other technologies, but like I said, the they have to be able to figure out how to animate where 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 do the muscles move? Where are the bones? Where are the joints? What is it connected to? So if I create a um, a crazy looking monster, they could they could do the head of a serpent and uh, animate that independently of the body. So they could probably figure out ways to uh, animate parts of my movie monsters, things that weren't possible in the 50s or 60s. Uh, but yeah, the, we've had monsters since the beginning of time, since the beginning of storytelling. Uh, there are lots of mythical beasts in uh, Greek. Uh, mythology, the Cyclops with the one big eye, the Minotaur, the monster with the, the body like a man but the head of a bull, Medusa with her snake-like hair, she was one of three Gorgons uh, from their, their legends, the Sirens which are uh, said to be, uh, have the head of a beautiful human and the voice and music to attract sailors, but I guess the rest of their bodies were more bird-like. The Sphinx with the uh, the body of a lion and a human's head. So yeah, there's been monsters combining different creatures in mythology for ages. The classic movie monsters from Hollywood, the zombie. The, the Mummy, The Werewolf, Frankenstein's Monster, Dracula, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, all these great monsters, and I was reading even like The Invisible Man is considered an, a classic monster. I'm like, well, I can't do The Invisible Man makeup because I can't be invisible. <laughs> but I could do, I could do, I, I did The Mummy the other day with the, uh, breakfast here, a yummy mummy. Um, I know I've done a werewolf and a zombie in the past, and Frankenstein's monster. The creature from the Black Lagoon is probably the only monster I haven't really attempted of the classic Hollywood movie monsters. I've done robotic monsters, and yes, but it's usually monsters with big, sharp teeth, menacing, menacing teeth. But monsters, to me, they are so creative, and they can be big and small, and like, they could be Muppet-type monsters from Sesame Street, or Monsters Incorporated. Yeah, monsters can be just about anything from the grotesque to the furry, fuzzy, cute, and cuddly designs. 
So yeah, I'm going to keep doing my Monster Monday designs as often as I can, at least um, a few Mondays a month. See how many new monster looks I can come up with. This one was the dark and menacing monster that you can't quite see. So until next time, see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile, thanks for watching.